NBA action. It's fantastic. That's one of the league's old catchphrases from the 1980s, and it still rings true today. In addition to being fantastic to watch, action in the NBA can also get pretty strange, especially once the players leave the court, the crowds go home, and the lights in the arenas are switched off. Here's a rundown of the league's most peculiar players, along with a few retro ballers who helped set the bar when it comes to NBA eccentricity. Whether they're playing now or have since since retired, these basketball stars can be really weird people off the court. Offhand Remarks Russell Westbrook has spent his career playing point guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder, and he's also demonstrated some truly peculiar habits. That's one of the reasons the New York Times' Sam Anderson described him as a misunderstood genius in a 2017 profile. Anderson noticed that Westbrook writes with his left hand, but shoots hoops with his right. Ambidexterity isn't all that odd, but Westbrook became angry when Anderson noticed this while he was signing a stack of documents, telling him, don't put that in your article. When Anderson jokingly tried to strike a bargain with him, the point guard said, you don't get to bargain with me, and then cursed at him. According to Anderson, he added a curse word with so much venom it made me laugh out loud. Are you upset with something? I just don't like you. Give Peace a Chance The memorably named former NBA star Meta World Peace was anything but peaceful during much of his NBA career. After a 2003 loss to the Knicks, the player, formerly known as Ron Artest, destroyed a $100,000 TV camera and a monitor in Madison Square Garden. The camera's lens alone reportedly cost $60,000. Years prior, the small forward also decided to get a job at Circuit City during his rookie year in the league. It's not like he was hard up for cash, coming off a season that netted him a $1 million salary. According to him, I was bored. I was partying a little bit too much. I was trying to find ways to stay grounded. So one of the things I did was apply for a job at Circuit City. Also, because he wanted to be able to get the employee discount. World Peace didn't exactly work his way up to management at the company, though. In fact, he only worked a single shift. Obsession by J.J. Reddick. J.J. Reddick likes to stay organized really, really organized. The shooting guard meticulously plans his naps, his sock selection, and his meals. His rigid pre-game routine includes eating roasted chicken, a baked potato, asparagus or broccoli, and washing it all down with a cup of coffee. While being profiled for the New York Times in 2018, Reddick discussed one disastrous occasion when his dinner arrived 20 minutes late. According to Reddick, it completely threw me off. The team lost that night by 24 points, and he missed 10 of his 11 shots. Reddick has said he follows the same pre-game warm-up routine down to the minute, finishing off with a specific type of granola bar he's been eating for years. But his OCD doesn't just apply to the court, it plays into his whole life. At home, for instance, his closet must stay organized with, quote, military-grade precision. If you go in my closet right now, like everything is lined up by type of shirt, type of suit, color, brand, shoes are the same way. Reddick seems to derive little joy from all that extra effort. As he told The Times, it's exhausting. The World According to Dennis Rodman No list of weird NBA players would be complete without the man who inexplicably became the United States' number one liaison to North Korea. Before he started hanging around with Kim Jong-un and practicing basketball diplomacy, Rodman was widely considered one of the most eccentric guys to ever play professional basketball. I'm all of both worlds here. During the 1996 offseason, the former power forward announced he was getting married to an unnamed person. When his wedding day finally arrived, Rodman rode around New York City dressed in a bridal gown, announcing that he had decided to marry himself before attending a book signing for his first autobiography, Bad As I Wanna Be. Rodman's other antics included dating the equally eccentric Madonna, dyeing his hair every color of the rainbow, kicking a cameraman in the crotch, and wrestling alongside Hulk Hogan in the WWE. He's also spent part of his retirement years working as the commissioner for the Lingerie Football League. On top of all this, Rodman has his trips to North Korea, where he got so close to the nation's secretive ruler that he was able to call Kim Jong-un a friend for life. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marshall. The Sound of Chocolate Thunder 
Once upon a time, Daryl Dawkins made smashing backboards with super awesome dunks a fairly regular habit. It was one of the things that helped him earn the nickname Chocolate Thunder. I was the greatest dunk of all time. Dawkins' monster jams helped push the league to replace their fragile hoops with ones that had breakaway rims and shatter-resistant backboards. Dawkins' exuberant personality and weird behavior made him hugely popular in the 1970s. He gave his dunks names like The Lookout Below, The Yo Mama, or The Chocolate Thunder Flying, Glass Flying, Rosine Crying, Babies Crying, Glass Steel Flying, Catch Crying, Rump Roast and Bun Toast, and Thank You Wear Me My MJ. And his favorite, the get out of the waying, backboard swaying, game delaying, if you ain't grooving, you best get moving, dunk. Well, it's uncalled for, you know, it didn't have to happen, but that's Daryl Dawkins. Dawkins passed away in 2015, but before he left, the baller routinely claimed that he was actually a space alien from the planet Lovetron, here on Earth to spread the gospel of what he called interplanetary funkmanship. I was all of that, and a bag of chips, and they just weren't ready for it. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.